Well, I'm here with Howard Berger. How are you doing, Howard? Good, Chad. Not a lot of scoring plays to discuss so far, but it's a good Not bad, huh? I mean, that's the best I've ever seen Marty Biron play. Yeah, Biron continues to play well. And there was uh, a lot of uh, chatter prior to the game in the press room and some of the Philadelphia people saying this is the worst move the Canadians have ever made. Yeah. You know, Gary Price and putting Yaroslav Halak in the game and that he made. A lot of big saves, including the shorthanded breakaway so you know, Jeff Carter uh, in the first period. He got to can play the game. Also came up uh, through the uh, minor league uh, team in Hamilton. Right. American Hockey League. And, uh, try not to spit. That's all right. You're allowed to spit. It's, only the, it's only the internet. <laughs> This isn't like um, it, this isn't like the fan or something big like that. This is like <laughs> no, it was a good period, and the goaltending continues to uh, hold up. And uh, you know the Canadians just don't want to fall behind again. They're falling behind two nothing, two nothing, three nothing in this series. Yeah. The first games. Kind of have that. Pretty incredible. They haven't held. A, they haven't had a lead yet in the series. I mean, it's an amazing thing. Statistics yeah. show that I think you ninety percent of the time the team scores first in the game. Yeah. Yeah. They were out there a little more assertive, Montreal, in the first period, trying to get that first goal. They've had the only two power play chances again. Right. But you don't have to remind any of the <laughs> denizens of the Wachovia Center here. No, I'm pretty and, aware of that uh, one. Well, Bethany, you know, the Canadians' power play really uh, carried them for much of the regular season. So uh, this is a big kill for the Flyers, two of them in the first period. Yeah. Do you, what do you think of this move? Do you like this move, uh, the goaltending move, Halak? The goaltending move can be governed by only one decision. What gives you the best chance to win tonight's hockey game? Right. It's got nothing to do with the guy's confidence, nothing to do right. with next year and the year after. And when you're down 2-1 to one in a best-of-seven series, your coach has to say which goalie gives me the best chance to win tonight's hockey game so we don't fall behind 3-1 to one and face almost mathematic uh, right. uh, impossibility to come back. Agreed. And if Pete Carbono felt that Halak gave him the best chance, some people think that Price is banged up. And he yeah. hurt his left shoulder. Heard that he got too. beaten over the left shoulder a couple of times in Montreal. Remember in game yeah, two? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So, to me, that's the only thing that governs it. If he's not injured, he gives you the best chance to win on that given night. So far, you can't argue with Howard. No, he's actually played very well. Well, thank you, Howard. We really All appreciate right, you joining us. All righty, talk to you soon.